So I'm excited because I have been working on my coat. I have been working on the Berta pattern that I talked about in my last video, which is a coat pattern that I'm making from fabric that I purchased when I took my trip to Chicago. And the process is coming along really nicely. So I wanted to take a break. Well, I'm taking a break to go to the grocery store right now to pick up some things to make for dinner. But I will share with you the pattern again. I'm making the one in yellow, which is a little, the longer version. So I just want to show you the process and how everything is going so far. So I just have the pieces laid out on my ironing board for now. But it's coming along nicely. These edges are fraying pretty badly. So I want to go ahead and search the end, but I'm not cutting. So I have my blade locked. So I'm just going to search all the way down here just to keep these frayed edges a little more intact. So now I want to go through and clean up some of these stray pieces of thread that are just sticking out along the edges that didn't get caught in the serger. Well, they did get caught, but they, you know, they didn't get cut. So I'm just going to clip some of this stuff off. And then I want to show you how things are looking like they are going to line up, which is something I'm really happy about. So I tried to be very careful with how I cut out my fabric because I wanted to try to line up everything. And for the most part, does that go that way? Yes. So for the most part, it looks like everything should line up nicely. So I will probably use some type of sticky tape or I don't know if I'm going to use fabric glue or maybe just pins. But I'm going to go ahead and try to line everything up and hopefully things will work out fine. Now there is a dart at the top up here. And so when I was trying to make sure I cut the fabric out, what I did was I lined the bottom of the pattern with the bottom of the fabric. So there was some overhang at the top. So the, the pattern extended up here, but that was okay as long as the hem matched and that way I was okay with the fact that the fabric should still line up regardless of the dark being in the way. So I hope that makes sense. Okay, so I used a walking foot and I basted the seam and it looks like it matches pretty good. So I'm happy with it. This is the seam here. I'm going to go ahead and sew my permanent stitch in and press this and move on. Okay, so my plan is to have a coat to share with you by the end of this video. So I am going to get this coat finished and then I will share with you the finished product in this video. So fingers crossed that everything still continues to go well. Okay, so I am actually wearing my finished garment and I love it. I am really, really happy with the way this turned out. So I mentioned when I first purchased this fabric that I wasn't sure if I was going to spend any time trying to line up the, the print on the fabric, but I decided to go ahead and take the time to do it because I had plenty of fabric. So I was like, okay, I'll go ahead and spend some time lining up the pattern so i took some time just to make sure things lined up fairly nicely and i'm not sure what type of fabric this is if i had to guess i would say it's a jacquard but yeah i'm not exactly sure but that's what i'm going with now some of the features in this pattern it has a collar which does kind of flap open so it just stays open like that there are really big patch pockets on the sides and there are two buttons and I decided to just use two wooden board buttons. I could not find anywhere on the pattern that said what size buttons to use so I just went to Joann's and just picked up 
some big buttons because it looked like the model was wearing big buttons on her coat so I just decided to do the same and I like that as far as the pockets go I did use the wrong side of the fabric for the pockets so there is a little contrast there but everything else pretty much stayed the same as far as any contrasting fabric I didn't make any other design changes or anything like that I did make a size 8 and I do like that the coat can be worn open or it can be worn closed so yes this is my finished coat and I am hoping to get a lot of wear out of this garment so before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. My love share is that North Dakota is the only state that does not have voter registration. Yep, it's true.